x-axis shipping bracket is located here and it's secured using four bolts. You can remove it using an 8mm Allen wrench. The y-axis bracket is secured using three bolts and you can also remove it using an 8mm Allen wrench. The z-axis bracket is located in the back on the spindle column and can be removed using an 8mm Allen wrench and also a 4mm Allen wrench. There are two shipping brackets located one on each side. You can remove them using a 4mm Allen wrench. Now walk around to the side of the machine to remove the last bracket. It's on the carousel. Use a 5mm Allen wrench to remove both bolts, making sure not to lose the washers. After removing the shipping brackets, you'll want to attach the two-way covers using the eight bolts provided with a 4mm Allen wrench shown here and here in place. The KVR2418 comes with six leveling pads and six ball bearings, which should be installed as shown here. Open the power cabinet door. which reveals on the 2418, the breaker. You can connect 220 volts AC power directly here or using the supplied external power cable at the bottom. After connecting 220 volt power in the rear power cabinet and turning on the machine, you'll come over here to the side of the machine to find the spindle chiller display. If there is no red LED light in the alarm, then you know that your phasing is correct. If there is a red LED light lit on the alarm, you just go and change the R and T wires in the back power cabinet. Large coolant pump orientation is as shown. Small coolant pump must be oriented to match drain with return hose. Oil skimmer is placement as shown. Ensure that the machine is leveled to 16 inches from the ground to the bottom of the enclosure. Placement of the coolant tank as shown here.